This video describes how you can create navigation buttons for your KML. You can view KML in geo browsers such as Google Earth and Maps. Using navigation buttons in your KML allows you to guide your users through your content in a meaningful, sequential way. To create these buttons, first create or acquire graphics for the buttons themselves. Make sure they are an appropriate size, such as 75 by 20 pixels. They should be JPEG, GIF, or PNG format. Next, code the HTML for each of your placemark balloons and embed this HTML within the description element in your KML. Consider using tables to format the text and graphics. Be sure all HTML appears within the C data element. You'll need to give each of your placemarks an ID so you can reference them. Do this by using ID equals X in each placemark tag. Note that your IDs must start with a letter. In the embedded HTML, use an ahref tag with each navigation image, but instead of a standard URL, use balloon fly to to point to another placemark. As an example, the code shown here points to the A placemark. Use these links to create a succession of placemarks in your KML. In the initial and final placemark balloon, you can omit one of these buttons. To see additional compelling examples of KML in action, visit the KML gallery at earth.google.com gallery. To learn more about KML, visit code.google.com slash APIs slash KML.